A statistic is nothing but an estimator drawn from a given distribution. So, so I can actually put it mathematically like this that let small n be the size of the sample. From, from a finite population of size capital N, then the total number of samples were of possible sample that can be drawn using simple random sampling with no replacement. If in C N with this in combination n. So NCN is the number of selections of n samples. So this is basically a combination. So this basically so, uh, shows the number of uh, ways in which n samples can be selected or samples of n size, uh, size n can be selected from a population of size capital N. defined as n factorial by n factorial. So basically uh, the total number of possible samples that can be drawn using uh, SRSWR is NCN. Now, corresponding to each of these samples, let me call this number capital K. So, corresponding to each of these K samples, corresponding, each of K samples there will be a sample mean. Let's call it PI. I is equal to 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 dot. Now, so basically, uh, given that we have a size, a sample size of small n, which is being drawn from a size capital from population capital n, then corresponding to each of the k samples, there will be a sample mean. Then, the corresponding to each mean, corresponding to each mean, there will be a frequency of occurrence. And hence, a relative frequency of occurrence. 
therefore it will be a distribution. The concept of the distribution arises because uh, there is not just only one sample, but there are multiple number of samples of a given size which is being drawn. And based on the different and the components or the constituents of the samples, uh, there is a sampling fluctuation as such. The mean for each of the samples drawn would be different. So we just cannot look into the mean and one single mean and say that given that this is a sample mean, I believe that the mean, uh, the population mean will be the value of the sample mean. So instead of doing that, instead of doing that, what we need to do is we need to form an idea about how much or corresponding to each of the mean there will be a frequency of error. So we just cannot look into one only one of the mean and make the prediction of the sample uh, prediction of the population based on the sample. Therefore we actually need to look into the distribution of the mean that is how are the mean distributed or the mean values distributed over the different samples. Right. So this is where the concept of, uh, this is where the concept of your uh, frequency distribution actually comes in. Or this is where the concept of your sampling distribution comes in. Where corresponding to each sample you have an estimator. And when you are looking, when you are collecting some k number of samples of a given size and corresponding to each of them you have a set of, uh, or each of them you have uh, estimator value. So when you are listing all the samples together, you are actually getting a distribution of or we are, we are actually getting a distribution for that estimator. So basically as a distribution or an estimator with a distribution will be known as the statistic. Therefore it will be a distribution of the estimator. Therefore, an estimator with a distribution will be called a statistic. A corresponding distribution. distribution will be known as sampling distribution. Right. So uh, let's look into the for example the mean distribution it has said in the theorem measures. So we have a sample mean over here, the sample number we have the mean. So what we need to do is let's uh, let's basically look into uh, that how is this, so basically what I can see is the sample mean over here is what I have called the statistic because I can see that there is a sampling distribution or what I can see is clearly the, that there is a frequency distribution of these means to which I can use. So this is known as the, therefore the sample mean in this case will be a statistic. A statistic will not be any specific value but it will represent a set of values which can be drawn or which are drawn from a given distribution. So if they are being drawn from a given distribution, that distribution is known as the sampling distribution and it is identified using the mean and variance of this list of values. So the mean of this set will be your um, mean sample mean or your the mean of the distribution from which uh, sample mean will be drawn and the variance of this will be known as a standard or the variance will be 
the the variance of this set will be the variance uh, of the distribution. So the sampling distribution will be characterized by the mean and the variance of this particular uh, set of sample means.